Welcome to another Uscript Visual Scripting Tool feature quick look. In this quick look, we'll be covering name variables. Name variables are a powerful way for you to quickly access and update a variable being used in multiple places across your scene's Uscript graph. This can be a very helpful tool to easily expose values important to things such as gameplay tuning, art-related global settings, AI properties, debug toggles, player start options and inventory, and anything else you can think of, all in one place in your Uscript graph for easy access and iteration by you and your team. For a quick example of name variables in action, I have created a simple scene that, through Uscript, will turn on four lights one after another when the spacebar is pressed. Let's do that now. Now let's load up Uscript and see what's going on. Okay, here's our scene's Uscript graph. And as you can see, we have a on key event looking for the spacebar. And when that happens, we toggle a bunch of light components on. And in between each light, we actually have a one second delay currently. So here's all four. And then at the end, after another delay, we turn off all the components again. There's also a little bit down here where I'm actually setting the light color to red. A very common thing you might want to be able to do quickly is change all these delays between turning the lights on. The way it is set up now, you would have to go to each one of these one second delays and change them individually. It would be much easier to use a name variable in this case. Let's do that now. In order to create a name variable, all we need to do is select an existing variable and then fill in its name field. In this case, we'll just call it light delay. Now that we have our light delay name variable, we want to actually use the same one in all the other delays. So in order to do that, all I need to do is select on the other ones and type in the same name. Okay. Now as you'll see, if I select one of these and change the value, in this case, let's change it to three, all the other ones change to three as well. Now if we want, we can just put one of these out of the way somewhere and kind of make that the master one where people will go and change the values and it'll propagate the entire Uscript graph. To that's very simple. We'll just copy and paste and we'll just move it up here. So now whenever you want to change all the lights timing, you can just change this here and it'll propagate through the entire scene. And we could do this with other things as well. So in the case where we just set the color to red here, we could instead name this. And then paste the value. And put it up here as well. And maybe we just change this to blue. As you can see, Name variables will allow you to organize important settings and values in one location for easy tuning, even in the most complicated Uscript graph. Name variables have two important rules. The first is you can update the value on any copy of the name variable. You don't have to do it on a specific one. The value will propagate to all the other ones automatically. And the second rule is all copies of a name variable always share the same value, both at design time and at runtime. And there you have it. Stay tuned for even more Uscript quick looks coming soon.